Here's a quick mini reading. I say mini because this is small in comparison to the cards that I get usually. So, um, so I did this last night. It was just really beautiful because the, the Empress and the Emperor are out here. The first card that came out was the Four of Wands, which is that 1111, which is a union card, right? With the feminine and the masculine holding down their throne, knowing this is already in the works. Okay, the wheel is turning. Got the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Wands, that triumphant card. Moving on, onwards, he has a wreath, he's triumphant. He's successful, this will be successful. We have the Ten of Swords, yeah, the Ten of Swords in reverse with strength. So the Emperor has had great strength, great strength from himself, but is Divine Feminine. And helping to release these wounds and helping to let go of these swords okay and a lot of it is that mental the mental mind the mental body and re helping to release that because we have such beautiful cards okay of surrounding it we have the star at the very uh i would say like the root of the this spread is the star which is the divine feminine <clears throat> she is the key, the seed. She is the key to this this journey. Um, finding hope, finding balance. The fool right next to it. Oh my gosh! And then the working card, working hard. That's why he knows he's going to be successful. A lot of things are behind the scenes. A lot of the things are not meant to to meant to be seen. You kind of have to be in this full energy. And just take a leap of faith into your, into whatever direction of your life that it is. But regarding the twin flames, uh, solstice is around the corner. Just lots of energies supporting unions and reunions. And um, yeah, so just a beautiful spread right here. And then we come over here is gorgeous as well. We have oh the two of cups, the two of wands. 2-2, two, two, the two lovers, the two of wands, I'm starting to see more as a twin flame card, making a decision to choose love, to choose this connection, because this is eternal, the ten of cups and the lovers, this is divinely protected, guided, everything, everything on the path of the masculine has led him to this connection, and it's obvious it's obvious okay we're getting to that part where it's just obvious <laughs> this wave of masculines are seeing it okay and so then what what came out here okay so then the king of wands came out and i was like what does the king of wands want to say well four of pentacles holding on to something holding on to something what is he holding on to be holding on to his divine feminine but he's got all the all the kings started popping off so he's whole he's staying strong and trying to build up his confidence and build up his, his divine masculine essence with temperance here everybody but the king of cups is out here actually all the kings are out the pentacles the earth the air the, the truth the wands the action and the Nine of Cups, what are you holding on to? Your wish fulfillment. What is your wish fulfillment to offer to his divine feminine, the Queen of Wands? With temperance, look at all of these angels, angel, angels, assistance. Okay. Being assisted, being assisted in this journey and it is the fact that the Wheel of Fortune is in the center of the reading with the star card, the four of wands. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. The only card was that is not as far as um, totally positive like and beautiful was this Ten of Swords, but it's in the reverse. So the swords are coming out now. 
because with the strength of the divine feminine, she has helped to tame the masculine and to work with, with, uh, and to see him. It's like the beauty and the beast energy. And here yet they are emperor and empress coming into what they deserve, what they came here to do their, their, um, path, their God given, um, gifts. Okay. Look at the wreath, the wreaths, celebrations are coming, the full energy ready for a new beginning. So yeah, that's just a quick read. I pulled these cards last night. I'm getting lots of ideas and I'll go ahead and post them up when they're ready to go, but I'm working on making decks and I'm also working on making designs of Yes, We're Unicorns. I just made a sticker. It's being shipped to me now that I designed um, and I'm so excited to show you guys um, designing mugs as well and um, lots of ideas. My daughter has lots of ideas, so I'm working on um, producing some merchandise for my channel. And, oh, I can't wait to show you guys what a, what a, what I got. Okay, so another time. All right, bye.